I'm a henna artist based in Brooklyn, New York, and I've been doing henna for about 15 years, and I've been taking and editing photos of henna since before there were even digital cameras. Often I get photos of brides who I've hennaed from the professional photographer, and I love to add these pro photos to my portfolio to show off what I can do. I usually take photos of my work on the day I henna someone, but it's really important to have the after photos of the stain so I can show potential customers how well my henna stains. Often the pro photographer's goals for the photos are not henna centric. Sometimes I'll get photos that have kind of a gauzy overexposed look giving everything like a dreamy and romantic look which is great for the bride but it usually washes out the color of the henna stain. Sometimes the photos of the hands of the feet will be done against a red backdrop which further washes out the henna or against a really busy background which then distracts the eye. So all of this is kind of taking away from the look of your henna which is what you want to show off in your photos. Um, often the photographer will create a very artfully composed shot but the henna is very secondary. It's more about the look of the shot so I'll also show you how to crop photos so that you can zoom right in on the important part, the henna. So this screencast will show you a few Photoshop tricks to fix your photos and get the best possible representation of your beautiful henna designs. So the first thing I do with any photo is just do some general editing of the photo just to make it a better photo overall. So if it, when I normally open up a photo, I'll crop it right away so that I'm not adjusting a lot of stuff that I'm not going to use. In this photo, I'm fine with the crop, so I'm going to leave it the way it is. The first thing I do is go to Levels. So the keyboard shortcut for this is Command or Control L, depending on what kind of machine you're on, PC or Mac. You can also find it here in the Image menu, and this is what we're going to be using a lot of. So it's Image Adjustments Levels. So um, this photo is, um, has a good histogram, it has a good uh, range of um, colors, range um, shades from black to white. If there was like a kind of flat line along here, I would drag this over to, um, to even out the blacks and the whites. So um, in this case it looks good, I'm just going to click OK. The other thing I really like to use is curves. I like this much better than using um, brightness and contrast. I think it gives a much better look to your photo. It's much more subtle. So again, that's on the image menu, adjustments, curves. So I usually just click up here towards the top and just kind of pull this line up and down just to see what gives me the look that I like for my photo. And basically what I'm going for here is general light level, so brightness and contrast. Um, you don't want to go so far that you have something really extreme or even just a little bit too far can be a little freaky. So um, just go for subtle. I'm just going to add a little bit more contrast there and then I'm going to um, go down to the darker end of this and drag this around and see what looks good. But again, just minute adjustments until you get it the way you like it. Already the henna looks better. It looks a little bit more distinct. It stands out against all this white and flesh in here. So the other thing I like to do that's a really nice quick trick is make the photo a little, little bit warmer. I think that henna looks good in a warmer photo. So again, you go to um, Image, Adjustments, and then Photo Filter. I usually like this one, the Warming Filter 85. You can also go with a slightly less warming filter like 81 and always make sure you check preview so that you can see what it's going to look like. So I'm going to go back to 85. Also note that you have some cooling filters in there if, the, if your image is just way too warm and it, it could just completely um, wash out your henna, you could also cool it down a little bit. So I'm going to warm it up a little bit, give everything like a nice uh, warm glow and click OK. So those are the main changes that I make to a photo before I try and do anything to enhance the henna. So I'm going to stop here and pick up the lesson in the next installment.